Ever wondered how points in a mortgage can work in your favor? Let's dive into that. Points are essentially upfront fees that you, the borrower, pay to your lender. Why would you do that? Well, it's to snag a lower interest rate on your loan. Now, each point you buy is typically equal to 1% of the total loan amount. It's like a trade-off. You pay a bit more at the start, but you save on interest over the life of the loan. It's a bit like buying in bulk. Pay more now, save more later. The key here is to understand that these points can work in your favor, especially if you plan to stay in your home for a long time. Intrigued? Good. Now let's delve into a detailed example to understand how points can favor a borrower. Imagine you are purchasing a $500,000 home in New Jersey with a current mortgage rate of 7.942%. Now, let's suppose your lender puts forth an offer, the opportunity to buy points to reduce the interest rate on your mortgage. Each point essentially equals 1% of your total loan amount. In this case, each point would cost you $5,000. Your lender presents you with a scenario. For each point you purchase, you can reduce your interest rate by 0.25%. Intriguing, right? Now let's delve deeper into this scenario and consider you decide to buy two points. The cost of two points is simple mathematics. Two times $5,000, which equals $10,000. Each point, remember, reduces your interest rate by 0.25%. So, two points would reduce your interest rate by 0.25% times 2, which equals 0.5%. Now let's do a bit of arithmetic. Your original interest rate was 7.942%. With the purchase of two points, you've managed to reduce it by 0.5%. The result? Your adjusted interest rate on your half a million dollar mortgage is now 7.442%. So, we see that after buying two points, the adjusted interest rate on the $500,000 mortgage becomes 7.442%. In the next scene, we will compare the monthly payments for both scenarios, without points and with points. You might find the results quite enlightening. Stay tuned. Now, let's calculate the monthly payments for both scenarios, without points and with points. Imagine a $500,000 loan over 30 years. With no points purchased, the interest rate is 7.942%. This means a monthly payment of roughly $3,634. Now consider the same loan, but with two points purchased for an upfront cost of $10,000. Each point reduces the interest rate by 0.25%, so two points means a 0.50% reduction. This brings our interest rate to 7.442%. With this adjusted rate, the monthly payment drops to approximately $3,453. So what does this mean for the borrower? Well, by paying $10,000 upfront for two points, they reduce their monthly payment by about $181. That's a significant saving every month, and over time, these savings can add up to a substantial amount. By purchasing two points for $10,000 upfront, the borrower saves approximately $181 per month on their mortgage payment. However, it's not just about the immediate savings, let's consider the long term. You see, mortgage points can be a beneficial option, but it's crucial to consider how long you plan to stay in the house. Here's why. The upfront cost of points is a bit like an investment. You're spending money now to save money in the future. But just like any investment, it takes time to see a return. So, if you're planning to move out in a couple of years, the monthly savings might not be enough to recoup the upfront cost of the points. But if you are planning to stay in your home for a good long while, well, those monthly savings add up. Over the course of a 30-year loan, for example, you could save a significant amount, making those points a smart investment indeed. Indeed, points can work in favor of the borrower by lowering monthly payments over the life of the loan in exchange for an upfront cost. But remember, it's all about your long-term plans.